Hi folks, I'm Brent Kelly, here today with Brent Kelly for a little conversation and discussion. Brent, why don't you tell everybody who you are? Sure, uh, hi kids, I'm Brent Kelly. I write uh, books for um, Omnium Gatherum, mostly about my pal Chuggy, but there have been some others. Um, of those, uh, I got a couple of short stories called, one's called JP and another's called A Friend in Paga that are a couple favorites of mine. Those appeared in Omnium Gatherum anthologies and you should all read them. They're really good, I think. I'm, I could be biased. I found that deeply fascinating. You're a fascinating man. Tell us, what do you write and why do you write that? Well, they always tell you to write what you want to read, and that's what I do. So, so what do I want to read? I'm glad you asked that, friend. Um, you know, we're two peas in a pod, me and you. Uh, so I want to read about crazy make-believe worlds full of strange monsters and maniacs, and I want explosions and booze and hot rods and demons and world jumping gateways and cursed weapons and goats that you ride into battle and pigs that shoot fire out their nose and uh, creatures summoned from other dimensions um, beautiful dangerous women who will cut you in half as soon as look at you and uh, you know, I want to laugh you know, I, I, I want uh, lots of profanity filled mischief alongside my cosmic danger and um, you know terrains that are beautiful and horrific at the same time and uh more deadly women with crazy weapons dark magic even more explosions i want meandering pointless stories that may or may not have actually happened and i like those being told by a drunk gravel voiced demigod um i want scarecrows and snapping turtles as big as your kitchen table i want songs too some music in there you know let's get some singing in um so those are the kind of things I try and write. Monsters, madness, babes, blood, and booze. Terrific. Any tips for aspiring writers out there? Absolutely. When, when you're at your computer and you're typing, you know, what's the enemy of the writer? Stopping to type, stopping to typing, to reach over here and, and, and have a sip of your beverage. You put it back down, now where were you? You can't write like that. Nobody can. Uh, never could and the, uh, you know, that's Number one enemy to writing so you put your cup right here in a bendy straw and you sip <sighs> That stiff you'll say as you continue to type <sighs> It's a brilliant tip I appreciate that. Um, next question. If you could be disfigured in any way, what would you choose? Uh, this is a no-brainer. Uh, I would want my face to kind of slide down my, my chest and you know, like sat like right here and then for my arms to be kind of like fried by lightning or something until they resemble like weird chicken claws and like and with chest yeah that's the way to be <laughs> that sounds familiar <laughs> busted yep that actually happened to the entire 1924 Swiss Olympic bobsledding team struck by lightning repeatedly up on the podium right after they accepted their gold medals was it luck or was it the Belgians uh oh, <laughs> we need to be careful here. We're going to be in serious jeopardy of venturing into a five hour discussion of Olympic bobsledding conspiracy <laughs> theories <laughs> and history. Agreed. Yep. <laughs> so, what's that you're eating over there? Ham? <laughs> that must be why they call you spicy ham bone. No, it is not. <sighs> well, how about this? What's your favorite t-shirt? 
Now why would you want to know a thing like that? Okay, have you... Have you read any good books lately? I have read only good books lately. You know, I think I lost your trust somehow. Why don't we get that trust back with JP? JP, JP! JP, JP! Aww. So, please explain what you're writing on now. Writing-wise. Well, right now, I'm working on a story called Keep Away From Psycho Joe, a novel. It's a young adult horror sort of book set in small town Wisconsin farmland. My main character has a crazy neighbor, and shenanigans ensue. I'm also working on a Chuggy short story, which will be followed by the fourth book of the Chuggy series. And the, the, the short story is called Chuggy and the Oarsmen of the Heave. And the fourth Chuggy book, which will be in the works next, is Chuggy and the Effigies of Cave Wall Slick. Can you tell us how a Chuggy short story would relate to the Chuggy novels? Well, Brent, as you know, Chuggy's shorts stand up on their own. They're uh, events that happened along, uh, you know, outside of the events of the novels, usually uh, way before. Uh, little slices of Chuggy history and the history of his world, and there's one available now that you can get called Chuggy and the Fish Freaks of Far Heath that actually includes illustrations um, by the author. Um, there are more planned and they'll all have really cool titles and most of them will feature goats. All right, back up. Illustrations? That is correct. I want to include illustrations for Chuggy stories whenever I can. Um, I love when I'm reading a book and looky here, it's a picture. Yeah, I would love to get Chuggy into graphic nor novel format someday, and um, maybe I will. You know, that's going to take a portion of my cunning. No. Well, thanks for doing this. I think uh, that should be about it for now. Do you have any parting messages for the good people who decided to watch this? Oh, the pleasure is all right over here. Right over here. Um, closing message, yeah. Everybody go buy all the Omnium Gatherum books and read them. If I have to bust in while you're sleeping and read them to you, you won't like it because I will be using a megaphone and my boots will be very muddy. Say goodbye, JP. Goodbye, JP. Say, say, say goodbye, oh.